Hi, I'm Rick Baird from Adagio Health. Uh, with me is uh, Monet Thompson. She's one of our clients. She's also an employee for the last six months, but she's got some things she wants to talk about. And Kim Everett from Planned Parenthood is here this morning as well. Um, as you've heard, uh, Planned Parenthood was totally defunded. In addition to that, like striking attack on a single organization, they all, the uh, consumer resolution also eliminated Title X, which funds family planning services nationwide. It's a $317 million program that benefits 5,000 clients nationally. And most of these clients are women. Um, most are between ages of 18 and 26, kind of a dull curve, it goes down. But it's for women of reproductive health age and men as well. Um, but again, about 90% are women. And uh, nationally, it's 5,000 clients. Um, there's about 12,000 jobs nationally that will be affected by this. Um, but it's, it's, we're not so much worried about the jobs as we are the, um, the clients and what they can do. Most of these women are working. They have no health insurance. Um, they're not ready to start families for. They do have children already. They know what it takes to provide for them. And they realize they're not in a position to have more at this time. The Title X program supports four health care needs that are important. First, it enables people to plan and space their children and to avoid unintended pregnancy, nearly half of which end in terminations. Secondly, it enables low-income women to be screened for breast and cervical cancer, which, if caught earlier, are treatable, as well as for a variety of other health care risks. Third, it provides screenings for sexually transmiss transmissible diseases, which, like chlamydia, if untreated, can lead to infertility, or like HIV, can lead to life-threatening disease. And lastly, it provides reproductive education and counseling on a variety of risk behaviors that can help affect health and well-being. There's no, other there's no other network in the country of health care that, that people can access without insurance or without the ability to pay. Um, the Title X system is available in every county, in 75% in of the counties in the country, and it serves people regardless of ability to pay, regardless of their age or education or social status, racial or ethnic background, marital status, et cetera, et cetera. There's no discrimination. And actually, we don't even check for nationality, but don't tell anybody that. Um, in Pennsylvania, Penn, there are 300, 234 family planning sites across the state, and almost every county, I think except Forest County, has a site. There's 302,000 clients in this network every year, and again, 95% of these clients have incomes under 185% of federal poverty, which for a single person is approximately $20,000, and for a, a family of four, it's about $42,000. Many of these clients are on medical assistance but can't access private physician's practices because a lot aren't open to, to medical assistance clients. Um, the thing that concerns us mostly is with the state unemployment rate of 8 to 9.8.